Okay, thank you. So my name is Benno, and I'm, today I'm going to tell you something about our project, which is called Stembell. And the problem that we are working on are, are myocardial infarctions. And myocardial infarctions are still one of the leading causes of mortality and morbidity in the Western world, and also in the whole world. Because there's a 3% prevalence of myocardial infarctions in the world, which means that 180 million people around the world will suffer from a myocardial infarction one day in their lives. So what happens in the myocardial infarction is that you get an occlusion of an artery by which you get a, a, a part of the heart which is not good perfused, so not enough blood is pr present. So the heart, part of the heart dies. And this part of the heart is then um, uh, uh, cannot regenerate itself. So it's uh, replaced by scar tissue. And scar tissue is not contractile. So the heart doesn't function anymore. So this leads to heart failure, and heart failure is an incapacitating disease, and uh, it's a really devastating disease. So people thought, well, stem cells might be the solution for myocardial infarctions, because stem cells have the ability to reduce the damage of the infarction, but they can also differentiate into new uh, cardiac tissue, so they can really uh, uh, regenerate the heart. So in clinical trials it was performed, and they in administered stem cells, but unfortunately it didn't work in patients. And the main problem was that not enough stem cells attached and reached at the, uh, uh, the damaged site of the heart. So uh, at the Department of Physiology at the VMC where I work, people work with microbubbles and ultrasound. And microbubbles and ultrasound were specifically, uh, de uh, uh, they deliver, you could target and deliver therapeutic compounds to specific parts in the human body. So we combined the two techniques of the stem cells and the microbubbles and ultrasound to create this, and this is a stem cell microbubble complex. And so what we do is that we have a stem cell, which we couple via a little, uh, little uh, uh, there's a pointer. So the, we couple them to uh, uh, little anti antibodies to the microbubbles, so you can form a microbubble stem cell complex. And uh, then on the uh, shelf of the microbubble, there's another antibody targeted against the damaged cells of the, in the, of the uh, infarcted heart. So they can form a bridge between the cells, the damaged cells, and the stem cells to increase the number of cells specifically at the right place in the heart. And uh, this is what it looks like. So uh, four years ago when we started, we hoped that it would look like this, a, a cell covered with all the bubbles. And this is actually an experiment of yesterday. This is actually a stem bell. So you see a cell with all these little microbubbles on them, which is amazing that it actually worked. And then another problem is when you inject cells <laughs> Inside a blood vessel, blood vessels are big, so yeah, the, the cells doesn't, don't come in contact with the, uh, with the en injured endothelium, in injured blood vessels. So what you can do with ultrasound, the microbubbles are susceptible to ultrasound, so you can push them. Uh, so what we did in a recent study was that we injected the, uh, the cells uh, in a red, and we found the cells back specifically in the heart. So the lining is not good, but the cells are in blue. And you can we, we really found them specifically at the right place. And when we analyzed this, we found 10 times as much cells at the right place of the heart, which is an enormous improvement in number of cells. Then what you, s what you get is that you have more cells at the right place. So does that lead to uh, uh, improvement? And it actually leads to a 70% reduction in damage, which is amazing. And is, is, is so we were, uh, this was a eureka moment in the, in the lab. So this was very, very cool. So the stem bell technique in 2030 will be uh, changing for a lot of things. So it will be a big change for patients. There will be less, uh, patients will have less uh, damaging of the heart due to the uh, stem bell. So they, they have a more active lifestyle. They can live longer for a better, better quality of life. And it also will have an enormous reduction in healthcare costs because uh, uh, the, uh, the the healthcare is now, uh, the re-hospitalizations re are enormous for heart failure patients. Patients don't have to swallow a lot of pills. And also, which is also cool, is that the technique is not only possible for the heart, but for any, any uh, part of the body that you want to regenerate. So to get the stem cells now, we're here in 2013. To get them into the clinic, we need more research. And more research means that we need to get them into the clinic via clinical trials. So the key to success is already there. But we just need some money to get it into the, into the patients. And this is the whole team.